All right, continuing from last time where we left off, we were talking about this Maven clean install output. I mentioned we were gonna talk about the versions. So our palm doesn't say anything about versions for plugins. We do have one version, which is this 1.0.0 snapshot for our project. But in terms of plugins, Maven picked everything for us. So it picked this 2.5 version of the Maven clean plugin. It, it actually picked what plugins to run and what versions. Now, if I look, then likely those aren't the latest plugins. So if I look in Maven repository, mavenrepository.com, and come in here and search for Maven clean plugin, um, I can click here, and I see the latest one is version 3.1.0. So that's definitely newer than the 2.5 version that Maven automatically picked for us. So what, what I'm gonna do is come in here and add a build section, and then within that add a plugin management section. And then in here, I'm gonna define all the plugins that I wanna use and the versions that I wanna use for those plugins. So I'm gonna add plugin, group ID, so if I bring this page back over and click on this 3.1, you can see the group ID here, and you can see the artifact ID here and the version here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy these three lines here in the middle. Come over here, paste them in. So now I've explicitly told Maven what version of the clean plugin I want to use. So if I run this Maven clean install again, I can now see Maven clean plugin is using the version that I specified uh, in my plugin management. Now, there are a few other plugins in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those as well. Uh, Maven resources. Maven compiler, a little bit of a copy paste here. Uh, what else? Surefire and jar and install. Now, so I got the I got the names from the list of plugins, but I left the version three one zero for all of these, which isn't necessarily correct. They all have their own individual versions. So if I change Maven clean plugin here to Maven resources, or if I just searched for it, then I can find uh, the version for resources, which is 3.2. Same for compiler, 3.8.1. Same for Surefire. Surefire is used to run our uh, unit tests, so 300M5. Now I happen to know that Surefire and Failsafe are very similar. They have the same version. Failsafe is used to run integration tests, so they kind of work in tandem. You have one for unit tests and then one for integration tests. And we'll talk more about testing in the future, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy paste the Surefire plugin and specify the Failsafe plugin as well uh, with the same version because I, I happen to know that they use the same version. So I'm going to go next to the JAR plugin, 3.2.0, and then last the install plugin, which is 3.0.0 M1. Okay, so now if I come back over here, run my Maven clean install again, we can now see all of our versions have been updated. Now, something you might notice, the Surefire plugin ran here, but my Failsafe plugin didn't run. Now, I haven't defined any tests, so there's nothing really for them to do, which is what they're saying here, and the compiler plugin doesn't have anything to do either. But um, even though I specified a version, the failsafe plugin doesn't run by default. 
Uh, it's only run when you explicitly tell it a goal to run. So right now we've specified all these plugins in the plugin management section. What we need to do to tell it exactly what to run is pull these plugins out of plugin management and put them into our build pipeline effectively. So within, st still within this build tag, we've got plugin management, which is where we're going to specify like versions and configuration and things. And then we have plugins, which is what tells Maven which plugins to run. And Maven runs some plugins by default, but uh, we're going to tell it explicitly what to run. So what I'm going to do is basically just copy paste this list here and paste it in here. And then I'm going to get rid of all these versions. So what I'm doing is uh, plugin management is used to manage the configuration and version of plugins. And then this plugin section is used to tell Maven what plugins to run. So now I'm going to run all the plugins that I've explicitly configured. So if I do the build again over here, I see uh, Surefire, and I still don't see uh, the uh, failsafe plugin. So while I've told it what plugins to use, I haven't given them any executions. So I'm going to come in here, since failsafe doesn't have any executions by default, I'm going to give it one. I'll give it a goal of test. Actually, let me verify and bring the browser back up and do a search. For the Maven failsafe fail plugin. And I'll click on goals. So the failsafe has a, uh, the failsafe plugin, which you can see on the left of the colon, has three different goals help, integration test, and verify. So what I want to do is run the integration tests use, using Surefire, and then I want to verify that they did run. So what I'm going to do is tell it to run integration test and verify. Now I also get to um, tell it what phase it should run in. So each of these plugins run in a different phase. I don't think the phase is specified or visible in the output. But there are various phases as part of the Maven um, build process. So Maven build lifecycle. Yeah, so here's a list of phases. So when we're going to do integration testing, it makes sense to be part of the test phase. So I'll go ahead and make uh, my test in here. So all these other plugins, which are default plugins, they have executions defined already, kind of by default. So we don't have to define executions for them. Uh, and now that I've defined one for failsafe, which is not a default plugin, I now see uh, both Surefire and failsafe run here. And uh, in fact, I see failsafe run twice, once for the integration test and then once for the verify, since we gave it two specific goals to run. So we're going to continue doing that for all of our plugins. All, all of these plugins can support various types of configuration. So, uh, you know, for example, the compiler plugin, let's go ahead and look at that. Oops. Well, I knew what I anyway. So I'll click goals. <clears throat> uh, so the compile plugin and the, or excuse me, the compile goal and the test compile goal, we're running both of those. So if I look over here, I see the test compile here and I see the compile here. So we're running both of those goals. And we see like a bunch of different optional parameters in here. Some of them I like using, like uh, compiler args, which I, I can see some uh, different 
example arguments here. I'm gonna copy and paste this. And uh, drop that into my compiler configuration section. Now, some of the things that I like, I do like linting in here. This makes sure that uh, the source code looks good, otherwise it's gonna have warnings in it. And when I say looks good, I mean, um, uh, like it's, it's linted correctly. It has the correct format. It has uh, like no, no warnings to complain about. Now I'm gonna add warn on error. I'm trying to remember these off the top of my head, which I don't, I'm doing a bad job of. Um, Java compiler, I think it's worn on air maybe. Uh, nothing's quite jumping out real quickly. Let me open a recent project, which popped up on a different screen. Okay, so what I'm gonna change is, I'm gonna update this to say, oh, uh, I was right about the dash W error, so I want, linting on everything and I don't care about that one. So those are the compiler logs I like. I, I like it warning about everything and treating uh, warnings as errors and I, I like strict linting basically <clears throat> and in fact there are some other options in here like show me when things are deprecated so I'll set that to true and I can if I come back over here, like this list kind of has everything, uh, all the, the list of all the options that we could use. Things like debug levels, you know, do we want, you know, which, which of those do we want? Encoding, right, we've, we've already set our source code encoding property. Um, I like fail on warnings and I like fail on errors, right? I want, I always want to fail because that will, will force me to go back and fix uh, those problems, even if they're just warnings. Fail on error, fail on warning. I'm gonna make these alphabetical, so I'll put show deprecation last. So that's that's the normal compiler configuration I use. Uh, it's not gonna make a difference because we don't actually have any Java code to compile at this point, which is the perfect time to add strict uh, parameters into your compilation process. And uh, let's see, do I want to configure any of these others? I'll leave these other ones how they are for now and just stick with uh, you know, strict compilation. So half an hour in, we haven't really even started coding yet. We're still configuring Maven, our, our build process, and we're gonna continue to do that in the next one as well. Uh, until then, uh, have a good one.